Yo, what's going on? Mr. Barella back with the low production budget, making another juicy film for you guys. Um, today I want to be talking about, ugh, be talking about, geez, my grammar. I had the other day, a, a student emailed me, I be checking. It just throws me off and now I'm, I'm doing the same thing. I'm a hypocrite. Anyways, um, I'm here to talk about New York City Teaching Fellows exams. I'm going to give you my advice on how to study and how to take all three, and that includes the GRE, that is the uh, general or the graduate, whatever, man. That's how much I studied for it. So let me start there. How are you going to study for it? Well, I found out that the GRE is actually a political thing. What the GRE is used for is just the Naviance or a name brand. So what score can you get? Let's, let me compare it to the SAT. If you were to walk into the SAT, put your name and walk out, you would get a passing score on the GRE for the New York City Teaching Fellows. You just need, and I, that's exact, true story. I knew about this. I walked in, I put my name on, a, I, I, I typed my name, right? I, um, I got a score, I passed, check, I satisfied New York State GRE requirement. Guys, it's such a political bullshit. I'm just gonna say it right there. And I'm gonna tell you guys how to get the money back. And it's called New York, New York City Men Teach, okay? They will give you a juicy $700 check for all the exams you take from the fellows. Next, EAS. That was a bitch. I think passing score is 520, but we were the last class. If you got a 500, you pass with the, um, the safety net. How to, how to study for that? You got to read. Dude, I, 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 I went into the exam, like took practice tests. I studied best from using the Pearson's. That thing was awesome. Pearson's meaning the $20 practice test you can buy. Just review the living crap out of it. The questions were extremely similar. That was enough for me to pass. Other than that, you gotta learn how to read. Uh, if, you're, if you're coming off from college and you're fresh off downing a bunch of Ronas each night, uh, a, a few Jaegers, you're not gonna do well because the brain's just gonna be foggy. Um, you gotta give the liver time to, you know, recuperate from itself. That's how I studied for the EAS. And again, it's a reading test. I Nobody can teach you how to read. A reading test, you know? You're, it's your best bet is to um, read the questions and answer as best as possible. However, if you want to pass on the first try and you have a few extra pocket, uh, pocket change, I'm not being sponsored by them. I am not. But I know... Literally 100% of the people that I know took this course from them passed the test. And this is the Brooklyn Education Center. I Who introduced this to me? So the day I took my um, EAS, this lady left the room and I was like, I was talking to her, you know, that's who I am. And I said, oh, how? what, what exam did you take? She said EAS. I mean, not EAS. She took the CST and I took the EAS that day. I said, oh, you took the EAS already? She said, yeah, she took it four times. Right, and she was traditional route teaching. She took it four times. We're the we're the fellows. We can, we can't afford to take that thing four times. That is not a cheap test. So I said four times. She said, "Oh man, she was getting four hundred. She couldn't even qualify for the safety net." So I said, "So what did you do differently?" She said, "Brooklyn Education Center." Now I'm not going to get into the specifics or because how they're so good or why they're so good because I didn't personally attend them, but it's a great investment. CST, I spent four years studying chemistry, so it wasn't that much of an issue, but a book that I thought helped me study was I bought the SAT chemistry um, book, and I just worked through the problems. For you math people and special ed people who are gonna take the three-part CST, I know math is gonna be an issue if you are not a math major. So all my friends that are math immersion, 
they did it was a struggle for them so my suggestion for you guys is start now to review four years of math and like you, you can't you can't be you can't say oh you know there this guy's not qualified to be a math teacher you 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 teach a subject in math but the good thing about math is you can teach any kind of math. I mean, when I'm saying that, I mean algebra, algebra two, geometry, calculus. I'm specialized in chemistry, so I'm not really looking in the camera. I'm I'm chemistry specialized, so I'm technically allowed to only teach chemistry. Wow, this lady is such a poor driver. Jesus, Jesus, you know, but um. Jeez, that turned me off so much. And now I miss my breakfast spot. Now I got to find a new place to buy breakfast. Um, what I'm going to say about this is take it serious the first time. Do not, like, take your practice test. Take the Pearson's practice test online. Take that $20 bad boy. That thing was the best indicator of your grade. And you're going to take it again and again and again. And you're going to memorize. Like, don't, like, when you have to cram, you memorize. Your, your job is not to understand but once you've memorized the answers like oh when you see this pick this then you can understand why you're doing that uh so for example you're gonna i think some questions were like um how do you help a disabled person that oh ell you want them to, there's gonna be questions that repeat themselves. I don't remember it off the top of my head, but you'll see it. Um, again, thank you guys for asking questions. Without you guys, I have no videos. All five of you, <laughs> including me and my mom. So, uh, any more questions? Oh, the next video I'm gonna make is about teacher salary, how you're gonna be being, how you're gonna get paid over the summer, how the tuition works, and what to expect your first year. Uh, this is juicy because of the Janice case and everything. So, salute, guys. Thanks for watching my low-budget low production. And I'll see you on the next episode.